before his songs were the coolest, now revered by art form, felt at peace like I had truly found me. Never losing my will, I was improving my skill. Still, I was doing it, cause I found the chill thrill, it fulfilled me. Until one day, Lil Bunch got the opportunity in school to play with the senior singer. I held in high regard, really admired her. Her notes were off the chart. It was a big achievement, so I practiced hard. Hit my ceiling, made sure I was above par, so eager. And at the last art, they canceled my part, broke my heart, as <laughs> the to the art. Literally, I left music for a year after that, didn't play an instrument, stopped singing. And I realized that I can only live without music for so long. So if you fast forward to around one year later, now I thought I'm down to become a keyboard player. Experimented with sounds, wanted to be an all-around renowned musician. Now I'm still a teenager, so of course. What did I do? First with guitar, then the drums, on a mission to be proficient in different kinds of instruments, listen to different styles of music without judgment. Came across Kushar Lal, my soon to be role model, musically everything I wanted to be. He was awesome, these western themes he, immunized all from David West was he, and I was Mitchell Donovan, any who, over the next two to three years, learned the blessed thought, played flute too, in a competition, loved my guitar, got super into music production, all these bizarre our passions are a mess, they run through and through me, which brings us to about five, six months ago, when I met Justin, Jess, and Charlotte on our ROP, and I just started freestyling with one of the three seniors who are artists, met all us newbies, and before I knew he, I was in a new community, soon to be part of a crazy big family, far from home, <laughs> I have found another family. <laughs> So slowly, once I got here, I got more into rap. As soon as I knew what a mastery project was in the school, I knew what I had to do as my talk to a lot of people in this room for advice. I got to influence my writing. The advice that ensued. So I forgot to allude to my first summary, which I had to write. Because the due date was showcased, but I realized that I have to do this because rap has a groove and it's so strangely beautiful, like when a moon is full. What allures is intangible, percussively is so unique, much more than dissing, way more efficient at communication. All of you are so tuned in, and isn't that proof then? It's not just movement and parties at night. What people are assuming is a stereotype. In Bosnia, I was like, in India, I gotta write raps and finalize the track, but Sam made it clear that I like a teacher. I told him I got you. Now, someone who's not from here, I got a bright idea, landed in Delhi, and then immediately started writing the email for my master read to the guy I really held in high esteem. My dream was play a read, he be Socrates, start to write it, finish it, and then revise it. Might I benefit from some critique? I said to myself, Maybe I'll get some feedback from the peeps at TGS and then I hit send. So I put it on the back of my mind and for the second time made a track and wrote some lines and line under a deadline. It's had to follow my timeline that I designed for my proposal. Fly to Mel B and in the third scene, our long journey, editing, fixing the E, mail and grammar lead, waiting to meet you guys so finally I can get some feedback from the English speaking community. Then I see Shell who came to pick me, so we take a taxi, we escape, and for the next couple of weeks, sessions about mastery helped tremendously. Then on my We Explore, oh my senior told me that I fear rejection. And I was like, no, no, Paula, that's outrageous. Like, I, I, I promise you, I can handle a no. I, like, it's, I don't even expect to reply to you. Like, I, I don't expect you to reply as much you grab a shower. That's it. So after three to four mental breakdowns and so many more feedback rounds, I found the bravery to send the mail out around three months later. Still no sound. I realized <laughs> that I had to scout for a new mentor. Now somehow I found this amazing man named Matthias Duran. He said he would be glad to assist my plan. Can be good news to Sam. He learned Western classical music, learns Indian classical music, plays rock psychedelic. I met him in Sandic Farms. He plays the guitar, but he helped me with this AI target because he often practices this art. Now, once I found this one, mentor in December, I took Timber, then production masterclass, then at last began my plan of action for this seminar. 
began riding all these bars, landed on Alone and Berlin and reached Delhi, ready to meet the community in Chile. I was really happy that my life was like, I'm gonna give the Mr. a blister for his hype. A piece of feedback that I got was like, I hope you don't smile all the time, I'm sorry, but I just get this high when I rhyme, which is a sign of my willingness to rhyme, right? Just because I'm rapping doesn't mean I'm not serious. Just wanted to do something unique and hilarious. Just wanted to do something new, like urban genius. Change makers, isn't that what we call ourselves the team? <laughs> <laughs> Why so the sky sometimes I feel that these verses are worthless because people keep undermining how arduous it is. For instance, you write a poem, everyone, I'm in awe, that's for all beauty. And I saw this coming. But rap is literally a rhythm and poetry, which means that one has to keep track of the lyricism and the beat, getting judgy peaks from the people in the system who claim to be. So open, really hurts me. You can write about anything from communism that is speak to something really deep like religion or racism. Just envision how this criticism affects me. Listen to the list of things I do. I write about music and the producer and perform as I'm singing, I'm listening, I'm taking the external and I'm listening to the mix and I'm nothing that doesn't mean tapping. So please don't think that this is much challenging. There are entire teams behind albums and I'm just one human being. You get to hold on to the document and look at the amount of work I've done. It's not just one take, one work. But I'll manage, because the chaos is structured, the plan is buying stuff from the PD budget. Gonna do my fourth song, when my man just over Chile, Italy, will be writing and recording. Now, mixing is the process of putting effects on different tracks, trying to make him sound the best. Writing, changing to make him as good as they can get, but I don't think this is what I would predict. Because every song has a procedure that's separate. Some could be ours, others could be like months on end. Still an event between 5 and 11 songs and I'll release at least 66% of whatever I make. Then I'll spend, but my bigger goal is to make the best of the album I possibly can. And I know that's an immeasurable impact, but that's my goal, because I might not go to college, which means that this has the potential to really have a massive impact on my future. So it's not just a grad requirement, it's not just a mastery project to me, it's way more than that, okay. But a question is, how is this mastery? Really? <laughs> Let's look at what our king, B.T. said. Let's look at him. <laughs> for setting for the rap proposal, the rap proposal. This was so damn stressful, which is why I trembled, which is why I stumbled. And mastery committee. <laughs> this was just an example. Hope you saw the potential. Hope the feedback is gentle. Hope the rap was so 